<laughs> hey family and thank you so much for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. Today I want to talk about three things on a first date. I've talked about first dates before but today I'm going to talk about three specific things that I have not addressed here as of yet so stay tuned. All right, family, so the first thing that I want to discuss is what to wear on a first date. The second thing that I want to discuss is where to take your person on a first date. And then the, finally, I want to talk about how to make the conversation more interesting. All right, so let's go ahead with the first one. The first one, again, is what to wear on a first date. So for women, really, we can wear anything. <laughs> I know you wasn't expecting that, but for women... We could pretty much wear anything. I know that for the most part, women are going to put a lot of time and energy into what you wear on your first date, but you ne you don't necessarily have to do that. Here's why. Because when a guy is looking at you, especially if he is attracted to you, he is already trying to undress you. He is already taking off all of your clothes. You could go in, literally, you can go in sweats, and if he is attracted to you, he will be undressing you with his eyes. So for ladies... I'm not saying go in sweats, but I am saying you don't have to put as much time and effort into your outfits as much as making sure that your makeup and hair look good. So the outfit itself can be mediocre, but if your makeup and hair looks good, you're actually in with the guy. Now for men, it's actually completely different. For men, the way that you dress specifically on a first date is a telltale sign if the lady will be attracted to you. I have some research that I want to share with you. I'm just going to read it. Research has shown that pictures of men dressed down versus the pictures of men dressed up in suits win much better with women and the women want to have sex more often with a man that's dressed dapper or a dapper man, a man that's dressed up in a suit. So if you have on a suit, um, more than likely she's going to want to sleep with you a lot faster than if you went in like Calif like I live in California and a lot of times when you're going out on these first dates they don't dress up. A lot of people wear the shorts and the skater shoes and just very simplistic things like that. But the woman is more attracted to the man specifically on the first date when he is dressed up in a suit or at least dressed up versus the casual look. So that's just a tidbit of information on what you should wear on your first date. Again, just really quickly, the woman, you concentrate more on your makeup and your hair. What you wear pretty much here, if he's attracted to you, is not going to matter per se. I'm not saying go dirty and filthy. However, I am saying put more time and energy and effort into your makeup and hair versus your actual outfit. For men, you need to put more time and effort into your outfit. As much as possible to have on a suit for the very first date, You will the woman will feel more attracted to you when you do that for her. All right, the second thing that I want to address is where to take your date on a first date. Okay, so research has shown that we don't just like regular dinner. We like dinner that is like in a more expensive restaurant. Now, I'm not saying go and break the bank for the first date. However, I am saying put a lot of time and energy as to where you want to take your date. Because when we see women, when we see the kind of um, grandiose or very expensive um, like paintings on the wall, the very expensive curtains, the very expensive just feel to the restaurant, whether it's expensive or not. If it's the feel of richness, we have a tendency to fall easily for you because we know you put some time and energy into this. Number two, more than likely you're not doing this for every woman that you that you have taken out. So if you want to get her to fall for you easily, put some time, energy, and effort into the place that you're going to take her. Not regular dinner, not TGI Fridays, not Olive Garden. I'm not knocking those places. You can take her to those places later on, but for the first date, if you really want her to fall for you, especially if you are feeling the girl for, or for a little while and she's finally giving you the chance and the opportunity to take her out, don't take her to a regular place. 
take her to a more expensive plush place where they have the dim lights. The seating is not regular seating. It might be a little bit more plush. Spend a little bit more money on this particular girl, especially if you are filling her. All right? She'll fall for you a lot easier. All right, the last thing that I want to address is how to make your conversations more interesting. So a lot of times we have these conversations and we don't necessarily pick up on cue words or words that are in ordinary, meaning if I'm asking you how was your day, right? That's a simple question. But the answer could be something like, oh, my day was really great. It was really nice outside and it actually started to rain a little bit. You're really looking for like key words that the person is using. Um, so specifically for that example, it rained. What did you think about the rain? It's something about all of our cap vocabulary that we use that can trigger the next conversation. So that's basically what you're looking for. You're looking for key words that stand out to you because the reason why the other person is using these words is because somewhere in there, it is uh, it gives them a great feeling and they're attaching it to this word. So it could be rain, it could be sunshine, it could be whatever it is. And so in order to keep the conversation moving forward and interesting, Make sure that you are paying attention to key words and how your person is actually using them in a sentence. Now, if you're getting one word answers, they're probably just not into you anyway, and you can just cut the date short and move on with your life. But the, if they are actually thinking before they speak, before before they actually speak about something, like you ask them a question and then they kind of sit there and wait a moment, and then they literally give you something like a full sentence or a full two sentences, think about what they just said, pull a word out of there and ask them specifically something about that word, how they came up with it. What about that word made you use it in that sentence? So you can keep the conversation going and also keep the conversation more interesting. Now, of course, I have several other videos about first dates and I will put them down in the description box below. I'll have a few up here flying throughout the video. And so definitely go ahead and click on those videos if you want. I have first date questions. I have a lot of first date stuff. So this is just something else for you to think about when you're going on your first date. These three things are going to help you stand out um, because not a lot of people think about them. And again, Think about what you're going to wear, if you're the man or the woman, how to make the conversations interesting, and don't just think about a regular dinner. Take them somewhere where the experience is going to make them think of you, okay? Make them think of you, and then also something where you guys can talk about it later on. Oh my God, that restaurant was so wonderful, and it was plush, and it was, you know, get the girl going and her emotions going, and she will attach all of those emotions to you, my brother, okay? So definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you did on your first date to get the person attached to you. What is a signature move that you use yourself to make a person fall for you easily that you see that it works time and time again? I'm definitely interested in reading what you have to say down below. So again, give me thumbs up. And of course, if this is your very first time here to I Love Me Me Me, I want you to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me Me Me, I am supplying you guys with the tips and tools in order to have happy healthy romantic relationships so we can decrease that divorce rate by simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you again. Deuces!